Introducing first to the blue corner, Raul Coach Maros. In the blue corner, ladies and gentlemen, Raul Coach Maros. And now introducing his opponent to the red corner, Flavius Boichu. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He's 22 years old and stands 180 centimeters tall and weighed in at 75.5 kilos. With a professional record of one victory, coming by way of knockout, no defeats. He is from Romania. This is And his opponent standing across the ring and fighting out of the red corner. He's 29 years old and stands 180 centimeters tall and weighed in at 75.8 kilos. His professional record, 28 victories and only eight defeats, 10 big wins coming by way of knockout. He is from Romania and is known as the Ronin. This is Fabius Sportivi la centru. Regulamentul a fost prezentat. Nu loviți după stop. Bateți mărușile. Succes. Arbitru. 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 Tim. Luptă. He's back. He's back in Coliseum Tournament victory after a short sabbatical, let's call it. Flavius Boychuk, the Ronin. Last fought for Coliseum Tournament about a year ago at Coliseum Tournament 10 in a losing effort to the current champion, Edward Gafenku. But fought a good fight. And he's fought at many different weight divisions here in Coliseum has Boychuk who is in the red gloves black and red shorts at 75 78 81 and now here oh. at 77 so that tells me that as okay. long as it's close he doesn't really care he'll be able to make the weight left hand scores down the middle for the southpaw Boychuk Good body kick goes in during that exchange from Coach Maros. There's something on the left eye, on the, on the side of the face. I don't, I'm not sure if that's always there, if it's a birthmark or something, or if it's uh, maybe some kind of injury that he sustained early here in the round. Ah! 
Jumping knee, I believe, made contact to the chin of Boychuk. Oh, it was a tricky, very tricky inside low kick that floored Boychuk, and he fell very awkwardly down to the ring canvas. One minute remaining here in round number one. Wild spinning back fist, not even close to the target. Knee on the inside, Stop. one in return from Boychuk. Stop. 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 Back and forth action Stop. here. Lots of Stop. fighting, lots of infighting going on between these two at close range. They are very similar statistically as far as you know height and weight is concerned but as far as experience it is not even close talking about professional experience that is Boychuk over 30 professional fights and coach Mato just this is just his second fight as a pro there's also seven years between these two with Boychuk being the senior hard kick there from Boychuk to close round number one once before and it ended in defeat for Boychuk. We'll have to wait and see if perhaps he gets his hand raised here if he continues to fight for Coliseum Tournament if he will move back up the rankings because for sure he has slipped due to inactivity. What do you think about this fight so far Gabriel? We have we have a, a, a new prospect a very good prospect with uh, <laughs> a very mature fighter, but yes. not very constant in his uh, in his uh, evolutions. So it's a risk for both fighters. Stop. No one wants to start a, a professional uh, career with a loss, and nobody wants to lose with the prospects. So <laughs> yeah, it's kind of a no-win situation for Boychuk, I think, because if he wins, he's defeated a fighter who almost has no professional experience. But if yes. he loses it's gonna look bad for him it is his debut i saw the i saw this young uh, fighter i saw him Stop. on uh, amateur fights and uh, i Stop. promoted him directly to colosseum it's uh, a thing that i'm doing a lot in uh, in the year so uh, this is the reason we have gafenko for example <laughs> right when do you think we can expect to see edward gafenko defend one of the titles uh, that he currently holds here in colosseum uh, I will be honest with you, his, uh, his elbow is not so good, his arm is not so good, so he is still in, uh, in the process of recovering. Okay. We all, we all want uh, Gafenko back uh, to the ring, not to, not to uh, fight for the belt, but to, to fight. Right. So. But you will see Cosminionescu so. this, uh, this night, and uh, <laughs> this is the third opponent we, we found here yeah. in, in the last week. <laughs> Because well, the champions here in Coliseum Tournament are absolutely killers. It must be hard to find these guys <laughs> yeah. to fight, right? I have a big, big surprise for you. Oh. 
in, in the next show with Sebastian Kuzmunka, his opponent is amazing. He, he just won a, a world title in France and he's the best fighter on minus 95 in, in France, but I will let you know in the in the couple of days. All right, I can hear people, you know, hitting the keyboard right now, <laughs> Googling uh, <laughs> who that could I possibly think, I be. I think Kozmunka is, is one of them. <laughs> but uh, Kozmunka needs, uh, needs a, a very good fight Stop. to defend his title, so he's gonna get Stop. one. All right. Oh, nice switch kick there by Boychuk. Cutting down the ring now. Not much time left on the clock here in round number two. Yeah. Left hand goes in. Oh, he's doing some damage here towards the end of the round. Oh, a hard knee. And that is the end of round number two. Yeah. Will Flavius Boychuk have a successful return to Coliseum oh. Tournament, or will Coach Maros upset the veteran? I think uh, th this fight will go on uh, on the experience, not uh, not on the wish, the hard wish. But you never know. You never know. We He's have need something one. big here. He needs something big to happen in round three. He needs at least one counting to to go on extra round or to a draw. A little bit out of range with the left. He Held back a little bit on there. That time he let him have it. But you, you know, a draw for this young guy is like a like a win. Right. It's a moral victory. Stop. But Flavius uh, is with uh, the eyes wide wide open, so he's controlling the fight. You see. He's a smart fighter, you yes, know, he, he yes, knows yes. how to make a game plan and yes. how to exploit his opponent's weaknesses. Yes. And he, he's not just going in there looking to knock people out. He, he's, uh, he's really a chess player inside yes. the ring. Yes. Stop. Look up. Nice body kick that time. Could feel that one. Yeah. Oh, nice answer. Oh. A tricky left hand, too, came from underneath with that shot. Seems like he's in full control here. If I'm telling you something, you will not believe me. Flavius Boychuk is training himself. He doesn't have a trainer. He's his own trainer. He has two or three bodies who is just keeping him the, the pads, and he's going to a lot of gyms for sparring. And that's it. He's his own trainer. And it looks like there's some blood developing on the bridge of the nose of Boychuk. It's nothing terribly important but it's there yeah switch kick now but to to give a switch in the third round this means you have a, a, a good cardio no yeah well some guys you know they they have a clear uh, vision for themselves you know and they, they don't want to be pulled in different directions yes. by different coaches uh and you know, i can see on his trucks he does have his own the name of his own gym on his trunks so Maybe. Yes, Daniel. But sometimes you need uh, you need somebody with a big, uh, big punch in your in your back right. to tell you when you can, to oh. tell you you can, and that's it. Right. This is the trainer, actually. You can see my Tyson. Yeah. The only problem with with what he's doing is sometimes you're only seeing it from your own vantage point. Yes. You're not looking from yes. the outside yes. in. You're looking from the inside out. Yes. And I saw in this thing, industry. There are a lot of fighters who are keep changing the trainers or or uh, 
trained Look by themselves. And they're not getting to the, to the right level. All right, this one goes to the judges and I go to the ring. Yeah. Sigur, vă spun asta. Ciao! Felicitări, Flavius, așa este! 